Hi guys, welcome to the part 4 of blog using Django 4.0. In this part, we are going to do the login and sign up feature. So if we go to the source and urls.py, in some videos back, I have already created a login path. So how about we'll go to this path and check it out what we get. So let's go do that. So as we can see, we get an error that is registration slash login dot HTML template does not exist. So let's start by creating this template first. So we'll go to the blogs, then inside templates, we'll select the template directory and then we are going to do a registration. We are going to create a registration directory. And inside this, we are going to have login dot HTML. Over here also, we are going to extend the base.html. So we'll do that. Extends. Inside blog, we have the base.html. And then again, we are going to use the block content. So we have to do that block content and end the block content. End block, sorry. So now here we are going to show the HTML form. So let's do that. For that, we'll again use a card and we'll have empty dash three and border dash zero classes for that. And then inside that card, we are going to have a card body, which also has class of text test center. So let's do this. And inside this, we are going to give a S2 tag which will have a login text and below this we are going to print some errors by checking if it exists so if form dot errors uh, looks like i missed the if so what you all can do is if there are errors in the form you all can iterate over it by using the for loop over here and uh, print all of them but for this video, I'm just going to print one error. So this, I'll put it inside P and your username and password did not match. Please try again. So this was one error I wanted to show you all. And then we'll have form. So form action will be, I'll give it URL of login. From where did, does this URL come? So if we go back to this URL start by over here, on, the, on this path, we are giving this login view and the name given is login. So we are using that over here. And then method, what? is the method it is post in django make sure always the forms have crf token because django uses that to verify whether it's valid or valid request or not so crf token is done and then we have to print the form over here so i'm going to print it by form dot sp so means uh, it show the form as inside this p tags uh, y'all can also use as s table i think it is called so that, but then I just want to show it quickly. So I will use SP. Then I'm going to create a P tag and class will be text dash end to shift it to the right side. And this will have two buttons. So first of all, input will be, okay, we are going to change this to submit. Class will be button btn dash primary and value will be login this uh, button input button will submit this form because i am using type equal to submit and then we have one more input this is hidden input so what does this do so let me show you all hidden and then name is equal to next this will be in double quotes or single quote, whichever you all prefer. Value will be next. And we'll close both of them. 
So what happens in Django is whenever you all try to access any uh, URL that has login required in the URL bar, it comes as next equal to that path. So that is stored over here and then Django uses this, I believe, to send the user to that path. So that's why this is required. So this was login form. Let's save it and check it out on the browser. We'll refresh this and there we go. We have this cool looking UI which has username and password and we already have one uh, admin user. So we'll try to submit and see. Yes, it works. And after that, it redirected me to this path. Why did it do? So we'll go back to the settings.py and we'll scroll down to the end. So over here, as you can see, we have specified login underscore redirect underscore URL. So after login, it will send me to this path. So that path is this list view. So that's why we have come over here. Now that user has logged in, but we cannot uh, identify whether the user is logged in or not. So on the right hand side, we'll show welcome username and logout button. So we'll do that now. We'll go to the base.html. So in the nav bar, we after the ul, we'll create one more ul. And this will have a class of nav bar dash nav same and ms dash auto. So this will shift everything whatever is inside this ul to the right hand side. So first of all, we are going to check whether the user is logged in or not. So for that, if user is accessible over here, dot is authenticated. So this is one available that checks whether the user is authenticated or not. So let me quickly fix the spelling and we'll do else and also we'll do end if. So if user is authenticated, we want to show first of all logout button and then a uh, welcome user. So we'll do that now. I'll create a li. So this li will have a class of nav dash item. And inside li, we are going to have a, a tag. This will be used to log out. So I'm going to use that URL will be log out. From where did this come? We'll go back to the URL start by again over here account slash logout this logout and where does this login view and logout view comes from these are inbuilt Django views. So we are directly using that over here. So logout I'll give it logout and we'll also have, give this also a class. So class will be nav dash link. Let's copy this one more time and we'll paste. And over here, this will be blank. We'll directly not put this a tag, okay? href tag, I mean. And welcome user dot username. So this was the if condition, and in else will show the login link. So let me copy this, paste it over here, and this is login. So now we'll save this. Uh, actually, I saved it already and let's refresh the browser. So there we go. Log out. Welcome admin. Well, this doesn't really look nice. I think I have missed something. So let me check it out. Oh, here we go. So this is uh, the a tag will have class of nav dash link and not nav lik. Okay, so I have misspelled it. Let me go to the browser and refresh and check it out. And yes, there we go. So if I click on logout, yes, the user was logged out. And if I click on login, this is working. So now when user is logged out, let's show a sign up button as well over here. For now, we'll keep this URL as login URL because first we have to create it. Otherwise, we will get some error. Like we created this login and logout that does not exist any default uh, views for sign up in the Django. So we will have to create that. So let's go to the blog and views.py. Inside this will create. But you know what? Django has a form. So we'll use that form to do this. 
so it will come from from django dot contrib dot auth dot forms inside this this form called as user yeah yeah second one user creation form so we are going to use this and for this also we are going to use the class view so it will be class i'll call this as create user okay and we'll pass the generic dot create view after successful creation where we want to uh, redirect the user to so that will be specified in success url and for this i'm going to use uh, something called as reverse lazy and i'll pass the post list s u c c e s s okay and we have to import this reverse lazy oh for me the vs code has already done it so it comes from from django.urls import reverse lazy so make sure to import this and what will be the form so it is form class that will be this user creation form then the query set we have to specify that query set will be user objects dot all so i have to import this user so let's do that now that will come from from django dot contrib dot auth dot models import user and last but not least we have to also specify the templates so it is template underscore name i'll Keep the template as sign up template, and we'll uh, put that inside the registration folder. So registration slash sign up HTML. So that is done. We have to create this HTML, but before that, let's register this view inside the URLs.py. I'll save this first. Let's go to the URLs.py of blog. Well, I'll copy this and paste it and we'll give the path of user slash new and views will be create user view. So that is over here and I'll call this as new underscore user. So that is done. Uh, don't forget to put commas. And now we'll use this name and go to the base.html and replace the sign up href with this one. Let's save it. So now the link is complete. Let's go ahead and create this signup.html inside registration folder. So I'll create a new file. I'll paste the name, enter. Here also we'll extend it. So I'll just copy the default structure. That is this and I'll end it and block. Inside this also, I'm going to create a card and card body. So let me copy that. I'll copy the close part also. So instead of login, it will be sign up. And then we have a form. So form action. Here I won't do any action because on submit, it will send the data on the same URL. So that data will be consumed by create user. So let me remove this and I'll only specify method which is post and inside this again we have to specify the CSRF token and we'll print the form form.sp and of course we need a button so let me copy the button from the login HTML and I don't really want a next over here so I'll remove that and this will be sign up. Let's save it and check it out if it works or not. We'll refresh the page. We have a sign up link available. We'll click on this. We got some error, page not found. Let me check what happened. Okay, so I found the error and it is very small error. And let me show you all. So in the urls.py of the blog previously, which uh, the path which we created was user slash new, but we did not put a slash at the end. So we have to put that. If that is not there, then it will give me error. After saving, after saving this, if we go on the browser, uh, go to the sign up link, it will show up the form. 
well this doesn't really looks nice so let me remove the text as center that brought them in the center in the card body save it refresh oh yes now it looks quite decent so let's try to create a new user i'll call this as sj i'll give it some password copy paste sign up okay so we got an error uh, i don't know if you all noticed or not here the two password field does not match so let's try to do that again this time i'll type down the password instead so yes so i think the registration was successful so let me log in and check i had given sj and that was the password yes and we have successfully logged in as well so that's it for this video guys in the next video we are going to write the code to create the post so see you in the next one